I love cars. I love everything about them. And my grandpa used to buy a new car every year. And maybe it's inherited. I don't know, but I love cars. So my dad told me that he had gotten a new car. And he lives in Washington, D.C., and I live in Florida. And so I was excited for the next trip to see the new car. And I get down there, and I'm like, oh, Dad, that's, that's a beautiful automobile. Drive it in good health, blah, blah, blah. And he said, thank you so much. My dad is completely blind and has been since he was 19. And I was thinking, what a shame, what a damn shame that he won't get to feel what it's like to drive this car. He will be driven in this car, but he won't get that experience, that thrill of driving it. So, got my wheels turning and the smoke coming out of my ears. And I said, Dad, we're going on an adventure. We're going on a field trip, just you and me, let's go. And he said, where are we going? And I said, you'll find out when we get there. So I drove a little bit farther out of the city and there was an empty parking lot that I had in mind. And I put him in the driver's seat, literally. And he said, what are we doing? I said, you need to drive this baby. And the last time he had driven was a long time ago. So his hand immediately went up to pull the gear shift. And I said, no, no, it's not there anymore. It's just a touch of your finger to push it down. He was blown away. He said, well, it's gonna go with that? I said, you bet, it's gonna go with that. And this is a big car and it had a lot of horsepower. And there he went. He was hesitant at first, as we all are. And there he goes. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. And then he took off. And I'm screaming, brake, brake, brake. <laughs> he remembered where the brake was, so that's good. And there's the blind man driving. So if you tell me that there's something he can't do, I won't believe you. So when you're stuck in traffic or you're stressed because your car isn't working or you got a flat tire or you're late going somewhere or you hit a whole bunch of red lights, give yourself a little perspective shift and turn the complaining into what a privilege that I'm able to drive, that I have a car to drive, that I can get from A to B. Yeah, there's always gonna be traffic, but there's also always going to be a break in traffic.